Hi, this is Mr. Whipple, and today I want to talk about cubing. It's a, I'm calling it a thinking tool, all right? Tools are what make us human. Uh, tools like a hammer and a saw, they do what we can't do with our hands. And just like our hands, our brains can also use tools in order to create and shape ideas. And, and that's what coming to school is, is all about, is learning how to think and learning how to uh, make I make use of ideas and uh, don't just memorize things but be able to use what you've learned. Uh, today we're going to talk about perspective and how to look at things from another point of view. Six ways of gaining perspective are description, compare and contrast, association, analysis, application, and argumentation. And what we've done is we've taken those six ways and form them into kind of like a mental cube, like a die. And um, we're going to take these, uh, this mental die, this tool, and use it uh, to help us pre-write, uh, to generate ideas. I'm not talking about like when you need to do an open response, you have a long uh, uh, writing answer, a short writing answer. I'm talking about like when you have uh, an essay or a longer type piece of writing and you're stuck and you don't know how to get started, cubing is what you're going to use to help you get started. The first thing we're, you need to do is to describe it. You, you take the topic of your, your paper and, and you think of it as this is the subject and then you want to describe the subject. So you look closely at it, you describe what you see, uh, consider and visualize it in detail. It doesn't actually have to be a, uh, a physical thing, all right? That's the easiest. If you're taught writing about um, your first time riding a bike, you would describe the bicycle, you would visualize it, but you would also like talk about the, why you were afraid, you know, the, 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 the feelings that it made you have. Uh, describe the feelings that it, the, the bike gave you. Um, so describing it is the first part of the cube. The second part of the cube is comparing it. What is it similar? What is it different to? This is, you've had this a, a hundred times in compare and contrast. You understand compare and contrast. Uh, so this is just what you're going to do with it. Uh, you're going to apply it in cubing to pers uh, helping you gain perspective. Uh, one of the things that helps you with uh, compare and contrast is trying to put things into similar groups. Uh, then when you go to your writing, you can mention that. You know, again, you can say, well, the first time I rode a bike was like the first time I rode in a wagon that was pulled by my brother. You, uh, you take that idea and you build on it. We're also going to associate it with. Uh, the third part of perspective is associating it with something. What does it make you think of? The subject make you think of? Um, you need to focus on memories and thoughts. Just kind of um, free thinking, uh, building ideas, uh, connecting it with other things. The fourth one is to analyze the subject, okay? Uh, breaking it down into smaller parts is the, the, the biggest way. You're going to talk about your riding your bike again. You can talk about how to, um, not just the, what the bike looks like with the wheels and the spokes and the pedals and the seat and the handlebars, but you break it down into like, what is necessary to ride it. You have to have balance. You have to have uh, be strong enough to pedal uphill. Uh, this all helps you write your paper. The last thing is, or the next thing is applying it. What can you do with it? All right. Um, do you ride your bike for fun? Do you uh, want to? Do you need to go from one place to the other real quickly? We, we see the Amish on our streets all the time riding their bikes. Um, one of the things that I want to suggest is 
a new way of looking at it. We've had applications before. Um, this is how people, when they talk about thinking outside the box, okay? Uh, what can you do with a bike other than uh, ride it around town? Can you use it to generate electricity? If you sit in, on it and pedal to charge a battery, uh, can you use it as a delivery vehicle to make money? Uh, find ways to other ways to apply it. Uh, the next thing, the last thing is you need to be able to argue. And this is the true test of how well you know something because um, you should be able to argue for it or against it either way. Uh, you learn about something and you want to, the, the best person that can argue against something is a person that is for it because they have to be prepared to respond to, to uh, someone else's argument. Uh, so when you're writing your paper, you need to be able to talk about is it a positive thing or a negative thing? And then um, be able to give evidence, give the proof of why it is positive or negative or important or not important. Well, that's all I have. This is a short video. Thank you very much. We'll talk about this in class more and uh, give you actual chance to use it.